I uh, believe I'm joined with um, Wuggles Cosplay. Ruggles, that is right. Ah, how's it going? It's going good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much for being on the show this evening. Truly appreciate it. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. So, um, I want to start off with this. What got you started into being a cosplayer? Um, well, a long time ago, like 15, my friend from high school, um, she said, you know, there's this anime convention up in, you know, I think it was Cleveland. It was one of the first Colossal Cons, I think the fifth Colossal Con they had. And she's like, you know, I really want to go. I have this tailor-made costume and... You know, I want to, you know, I've been wanting to go, and then her friend had dipped out, and she basically, we needed a chaperone. She asked me if I could ask my mom. So I asked my mom. My mom said, sure. And then I was like, oh, I really want to have a costume. You know, it's, it's weird if I don't go. And my mom has made costumes for me for Halloween for, like, years. So she I decided that I was going to do Kyrie from Kingdom Hearts, the first one, because it was my favorite game of all time right at the time. And I was like, oh, okay, I, I want to do Kyrie. So, um we made the costume. I helped my mom out. She did all the sewing at the time. I had not learned to sew when I was 15, but um, we went to the con, and I actually participated in the first cosplay contest I ever you know, competed in. I won a judge's award for it, and since then, it's really put a fuel like under my butt since I was younger. I was like, okay, well, I really want to learn how to sew, and I want to make this stuff and whatnot, um, but it wasn't until I had gotten into uh, college up at NKU that I really started I bought my own sewing machine, and I really buckled down and started to teach myself how to sew. So I'm completely self-taught um, when I started to get into cosplay. But that's that's how it started, is just a, a friend saying, hey, I want to go to a con. And ever since then, I got all my friends into it, and I was like, you should come with me, and we should make costumes. And I've just always been a creative person. I always love to draw and stuff. So it ended up being kind of that way. I've been a fan of cosplaying for several years now. I'm a fan of what people like yourself is able to do is you look at a a character, whether it's comic book character or video game character or anime mm-hmm. character and and turning into life and you dress up like these characters and and the hard work that it took to make it into a reality. Um, Absolutely. So um, that's actually one of my favorite things about cosplay is that um, you bring somebody's favorite character to life and just to see like the light and the smile on somebody's face that you had accomplished that just kind of really like puts the satisfaction that you did a good job kind of deal. So, What was the first ever costume that you were as you began being a cosplayer? Um, well, my first costume was Kyrie from Kingdom Hearts. That was the first costume my mother and I had made. Um, the first costume that I would say that I put all the work into it myself that I would be extremely, well, I have a lot of costumes. I've done over 50 or something or so. And um, my son, Yuna, that I uh, made last year and put a lot of work into it. And... You know, I've always had help from, you know, friends or family members that would help me out in different costumes. But that one's just my favorite by far. But um, Kyrie always has kind of like a a special place in my heart for being the first costume I ever did um, to really kind of push off that, you know, get me off to start doing cosplay. Um, I found like a real passion, I think, when I started. Like I did a like Leafa one year that I put a lot of work into as well. And it just, you know, that was me learning how to sew and put things together and whatnot. Um, there's so many that I've done. It's just hard to place, like, one favorite on top of all of the others because I love all of my costumes that I've done. So, obviously, w- one thing about cosplaying is that it's definitely become huge when it comes to conventions. You go to conventions, you you meet all these celebrities and and big names and things like that. And every now and then you want into, um, uh, you want into people dress up like these these figures that we, you know we mm-hmm. grew up watching, listening, and hearing. Um, what has become the one cosplay costume that you become known for? What has become a popular costume that people love you from as far as your work? Um. 
Oh, that's a that's a good question. A lot of people recognize me as um, Yuna, and I've done uh, three or four different of her costumes. I've done her songstress version, her gunner version, and I've done her um, summoner version. A lot of people recognize me for that. Um, a lot of people recognize me as uh, Long because I've done that costume a few times, and um, Alice from American McGee's Alice. Um, those are probably my recognized costumes that I've done. Um, a lot of people have also recognized me out of cosplay um, because I work for a convention called KentokyoCon. Um, it's actually local in, in Lexington, and it's in August. Um, they recognize me with my best friend Cricket as the mascots for those conventions because um, we do Zen, uh, Zenko Saya and Junko Kurosawa, and those are the, the two main mascots that typically are on the artwork, so we get to represent that convention as their face. Uh, of their convention. I also do a mascot for Animatic Con. They're up in uh, near Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, they support autism awareness, and I do their mascot as well. And it was so fun to be up at that convention uh, this past April and to run around as their Annie Mae, which is their character's name, and be recognized for that and seeing a lot of the, cos- the Congoers recognize me as that character and like, oh my God, you're the mascot. And it's just kind of like, they they had such a you know happy face on and like sit there and talk with them and whatnot. Um, so it, it's it's nice to be recognized, but I'm not all for one being like uh, I'd love to be at the status that some of my friends are like uh, Momo Kurumi cosplay. She's an amazing cosplay artist. I'd love to be. Uh, she's so talented, and I would love to work my way to there. But I'd like to kind of be in the background, and I like to work for conventions more um, than actually going out and cause. And I, I love cosplaying, but I've come to more working at cons than I have uh, actually, you know, been participating at cons like cosplay competitions and wise recently. But I'd like to get back more into it. I've kind of taken small hiatus, and you know, life happens. But yeah, you know, I'd like to get back more into uh, working on like another big project here soon. So. I do remember you mentioned the Cincinnati one as you know we messaged each other a while back mm-hmm. I lived in Cincinnati before actually I lived there for probably a good seven years before I and then I moved to Colum- lived in Columbus and then I moved here here in, a, in Kentucky and I lived in mm-hmm. Kentucky half of my life and I became a fan of cosplaying when I first started going to Kentucky Comic and Toy Convention, a very popular convention here in Lexington. Yeah. And and then I've started heard of KentokyoCon, which is an anime convention that she pointed out. And I do plan to be there this uh coming August. I do plan to attend. I know some mm-hmm. I know some local cosplayers from Get Geeky. That's a that's a community. Uh, shout out to them. They're gonna be there. Yep. Um, shout out to to Emily, the Jessica, and and the rest of the crew. Um, that's when I first became a member of Geek. And they do what they bring to the table is extraordinary. That there's a community like that, and I and I'm happy to say that I'm part of the group. You know. Even though I can't, I can't make it to every single event that they do, but they always encourage people to be true to themselves and just um, have fun. And uh, yeah. so I enjoy it for sure. <clears throat> yeah, it's one of the one thing I love about the cosplay community, and even in, in the Lexington community, with um, Get Geeky and Maddie and Jessica and Emily and all of them, and Clone, just being a part of that group, and they're so accepting and. You know, when you were that that nerd in high school and everything like that, you know, you were kind of in a small group, but these small groups from high schools all come together, and we get together, and it's just so uplifting and so inspiring for each other that we kind of support each other as a community, being, you know, cosplayers or just convention goers, Um, and it's great. It's a wonderful community to be in, so if people haven't tried cosplay before or haven't been to a, an anime convention or comic book convention, I always tell people you should at least go and experience the culture, the acceptance, and everything of that. You never know what you're going to find there. You know, you never know who you're going to meet there. Um, you know, I've met 
several voice actors through working through conventions, and it's always been an amazing opportunity to kind of network with people. And, you know, you can find a, a niche there that just really resonates with you so you can actually go out and do what you love, you know. Well said, well said. Every now and then, as always, you know, there's the pros, there's the cons of, you know, mm-hmm. cosplaying. You mentioned a lot of pros mm-hmm. for sure. What do you consider yeah. the biggest, con- what do you consider the con experience, you know, being a cosplayer? Is it, does it pertain to fellow cosplayers? Does it pertain to go to conventions? Like, what do you consider the biggest cons of being, a, you know, you know, in cosplaying? Um, some of the cons in cosplaying is uh, sometimes there's a lot of negativity that, you know, when certain females like to dress up uh, a little more not as conservative, um, sometimes they get shamed for wanting to be body positive and show that they can, you know, rock a costume that's a little smaller than what people approve. That is a con to some things, but if you've got the body rock it, don't care what it, don't, don't, you know, it it doesn't matter what anybody thinks, but as long as you're happy. Um, Time management is also a big con to cosplay, is that not only on top of you having to go to life, you know, most of us don't just spend all of our time going to conventions. A lot of us don't always have the money, and it's it's an expensive hobby. Cosplaying is a very, very expensive hobby. Um, So, it, you know, you have to work on top of going maybe to go to school, maybe you have a family, and all those things can contribute. You know, it, it's more of a hobby, but it, it's an expensive hobby. So being one of the cons is time management and money and, you know, things like that. Like a lot of um, cons that I've had is just that, like, I have rushed a lot of costumes and I haven't felt satisfied because I did it two weeks before the convention now I try to tell myself, no, don't do that, don't do that, you know. But we always get in one of those kind of spots. Um, sometimes conventions can also have, like, a bad rep, bad rep um, you know, for poor entertainment. And that, that's not something that anybody should think negatively of because cons can always take that uh, criticism and should, be, you know, bounce back from that, you know, and not let that drag them down. You know, I never want anybody to experience any of the cons of cosplay. You know, I always want to think of cosplay as a very positive, good thing. It's gotten me very far in life, and it has made me, you know, it's gotten me through some of my rough spots because it's allowed me to have an outlet for creativity that I don't have through any. So I try to look at cosplay as such a positive thing and try to not look at the negatives and you know, move that, you know, move forward in life with that way. You know, it's kind of, it, it's hard to, you know, say the cons because not a lot of people want to talk about some of the really, really negative stuff that can happen at conventions, but they do happen. So, and it could be a lot of drama. You know, drama is a big thing that happens at cons, squabbles between friends and things like that. But, you know, remember your friends. You don't want to shame them just because you guys got into a squabble because somebody cosplayed the same character. You know, if you're both rocking the same character, make it fun kind of deal. So. It definitely comes with the territory, unfortunately, and, you know, it's supposed to be having fun. It's supposed to, you know, just be comfortable within yourself and, mm-hmm. and every, that's always going to be um, a, a, a few bad you know knuckleheads that want to warn it for everybody um you know it's just a matter of who you with and who's going to be by your side you know and cosplay is supposed to be having fun you know and yeah absolutely it's supposed to be you know something to 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 to, to be alongside with your friends and loved ones and you know just it's it's it's, it's a good thing it's a, it's a good thing, you know, but every other time, that's always knuckleheads that want to mourn it for everybody. Um, yeah. Before I let you go, uh, why don't you go mm-hmm. ahead and promote your social media links and where people can keep in touch with you with Twitter, Facebook, any other link people need to know. 
Well, my Facebook for my cosplay is, you can look at www.facebook.com slash Ruggles Cosplay and Creation. Um, you can easily just search on Facebook, Ruggles, R-U-G-G-L-E-S, Cosplay, and it's easy to find me. Give me a like and give me a shout out. Um, I'm always willing to give advice and help with any type of costumes. I've had uh, over 10 years of experience of doing this, and I'm a friendly person, and I'm, you know, by all means, I will help out and give you some sort of idea to work with. Um, I don't really use my Twitter, but it's Ruggalicious, so it's kind of never really been used. But you can find me there as well if you want to find me on Twitter. But I, and uh, my Instagram is Christine, K-I-S-S-T-I-N, triple E, E, E. So the nickname my friends gave me. So, yeah, that's me. It was great chatting with you. I want to thank you for being on the show this evening. I know I've been trying to get you on the show for quite some time. I know. I'm but, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Life's been crazy. And thank you so much for having me. An opportunity. I'm really happy that you were able to be able to set this up. Absolutely. And we haven't got a chance to meet each other yet. I mean, maybe we may have been in the same cons, but we never actually got a chance to talk to each other. So, this is true. Can Tokyo well, Con? Well, hopefully. Yeah. Can Tokyo Con? Yeah. Can Tokyo Con? I'll, I'll, I'll be there. I will be there. I will. So, uh, continue success. Thank you for being on. Have a great night. Thank you so much. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.